starting today, uh, we will uh, go over second missionary journey, uh, which we had learned uh, last time. Now, beginning uh, this lecture, it will be more specific uh, in terms of uh, uh, how Paul actually uh, visited a mission field. Uh, this, this second missionary journey is very uh, much the foundation study in the field of uh, Paul's uh, mission work because uh, during this time, which is two years, two years, uh, started AD 50 to 52. The two years mission trip was very much the foundational experience in the field of uh, uh, Paul's mission. We ought to study thoroughly uh, on this topic here. Now, continuing last week, the lecture five, I just put it, Macedonian vision, Macedonian vision, okay? Uh, Macedonian vision means is Macedonia is right here, just the north of Greece. That's the province of Macedonia. So we will study that here. Now, Paul, uh, as he finished first mission, okay, first missionary trip, do you remember? It started 40, 46 to 48. Okay. Now, after the end of the first missionary journey, uh, in 49, we studied that he went down to Jerusalem, but we don't say went down. We always, even we go the southern direction, Bible said they went up to Jerusalem, okay, for Jerusalem Council. You remember that? After the Jerusalem Council, he wrote uh, the book of letter to Galatians. Remember that? Okay, that was the first letter of Paul. Okay, now he is in here in Antioch. Right here, this is Antioch. Now he is in Antioch. Do you remember? Paul and Barnabas decided to take the second missionary journey, but because of the Mark's issue, they separated. Okay, now here, Mark and Barnabas went to Cyprus. That's the end of the story of Barnabas. However, Paul's study, Paul's uh, task, begins with the second missionary journey, okay, which is right here. So now, after the separation uh, from Barnabas, Paul took Silas and Luke. He took Silas and Luke. The Bible said Acts 15, 40, and Acts 16, verses 10 through 11, provided us the two gentlemen by the name of Silas and Luke together with Paul uh, took off the second missionary journey from where? From Antioch. Okay, so now it's in Antioch. They, who are they? Paul and Silas and Luke, medical doctor, they took off for second missionary journey. Okay. Now, where did they go? They always revisited, revisited churches previously planted during the time of first 
missionary journey. Okay? That is this area here, this area. Remember that? So you have to memorize the first missionary journey story in order to understand the second missionary. Okay? So he went down, he visited uh, right here in the province of Cilicia. First, Cilicia is what? Paul's hometown. It's Tarsus. Remember? Okay? He went to, went to Cilicia because that was his hometown and he visited there. Okay? So he strengthened the churches in Cilicia, province of Cilicia. Then he continued to Pisidia. Pisidia is the place called Antioch. There's, it's not a, it's this Antioch, but Antioch of Pisidia. Okay? He implanted church, so he revisited there. And also, his primary concern was to revisiting southern Galatia. That was his primary concern. Why? Because Timothy was there. So that he has an Iconium and Derbe and Lystra. So Lystra happens to be Timothy's hometown. So now he visited there, Lystra, Derbe, Iconium, especially in the city of Lystra, he picked up Timothy. So Timothy now joined Paul. Okay. Now, along with this, now how many people now joined together? Paul, Silas, Luke, Timothy. These four gentlemen. Four gentlemen now. They were the key members in, in the second missionary journey. Now, according to the Bible information, the four of these people went down to here province of Asia. Okay? They went to province of Asia. That said that in the province of Asia, Paul concentrated on planting eight churches in the province of Asia. Those eight churches were very well known even up until now. Okay? So they, the seven churches and eight churches, the reason it's the seven churches, but actually at the end, Laodicean church and Colossae church, they are twin city. Laodicea, which is the last one, and the Colossae, they are twin city. So Paul considered these two cities as a one together city, uniting city, united city. So actually, all the time in Revelation chapter 2 and 3 said seven churches in Asia. Okay. At the time, the last church was Laodicea church, always including what church? Colossae. Okay, Colossae and Laodicea are twins, city. The Paul considered the, these two cities as, if, as a one city. So when he wrote the letter to Colossians, okay, when he wrote the letter to, letter to Colossians, always Laodicea church was part of it. Okay. Then later, uh, in Revelation chapter 2 and 3, John addressed seven churches in Asia. Okay, the last church was the Laodicean church. They're always together with Colossae. Keep that in your mind. Okay? Now, then, what are those seven churches and eight churches? right here. It looks like number seven here. See? 
it's, it, it's very easy to us to remember, okay, number seven churches. It, it looks like a seven here. Three churches went up to the northern part. First one is Ephesus. Second is Simona. Okay, I just wrote down there. Okay, and Pergamos and Thyatira and Sardis and Philadelphia and Laodicea, along with Colosse. Okay, so during this second missionary journey, those four men, four gentlemen, planted these eight churches in the province of Asia. Province of Asia. Are you with me? Okay. Now, as they enjoyed serving those churches and church members, all of a sudden, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit spoke to them that no more ministering in the province of Asia. You better leave this province. The Holy Spirit inspired them and even challenged them. Stop ministering right here. You have to leave this province. There was the special message given to those four leaders. So, from here, listen to me carefully. Paul, upon receiving that message, they thought, they thought, okay, that's the important part. They thought, oh, now, we, they thought God directing them to Mysia, that is the province of Mysia. There's a northern part of this Asia, okay? Mysia, okay? Then, Bithynia, that's the far north. So above this Bithynia is a Black Sea. Over is the Black Sea, <clears throat> Bithynia. That was their, th their thought, okay? They thought that God expected them to travel Mysia and Bithynia and Pontos right here. That's all provinces. Then you go back to Antioch. That was their understanding, okay, upon the God's message given to them. That was their desire. It is by the fact that, you look at this map here, over here, this is a black sea here, over here, okay, this is a dividing line, this is a, we call it Ural Mountain. Have you heard the name? Ural Mountain. That's the dividing line be, okay, between Europe and Asia. Okay, the Ural, Ural Mountain. You are Ural Mountain. It's a huge mountain, okay, right from here all the way to the near the North Pole. Okay, including uh, Russia, the Ural Mountain. It's a huge mountain. That is a dividing mountain between Europe and Asia. Okay, now that mountain begins right here, starting today's Istanbul. Istanbul, okay. So in the, in the city of Istanbul, half of them Half of the city belong to Europe, but that's a very small portion. I would say around 20% of the city belong to Europe, and remaining part belong to Asia, okay? Even Turkey, okay, in Istanbul. Now, here, so it was a Paul's mind and his friend's mind that being, an, being Asians, they were Asians, Okay, they were so reluctant to cross over the continent to Europe because of the fact that 
they were ancient. Okay? It's not easy to cross over the barrier, territorial barrier, continental barrier. It was natural uh, as uh, Asians, okay, not to cross over the Europe territory. Now, because of that natural, uh, you know, their attribute, uh, they thought the Holy Spirit challenging them to go to continue Messiah from Asia, then Bithynia and Pontus and Antioch back. So that was their design, their, their plan uh, on the second missionary journey, not crossing over European territory. Why? Because they were Asians. Are you with me? Yeah. That's a natural tendency uh, in our human behavior. Okay? Now, so they went up to Mysia. Okay? They went up to Mysia and arrived in a small town. It's an ocean town called Troas. Troas. I have given you all information there with the Bible references, okay? He arrived, they arrived in Troas. Troas. At night, all of a sudden, at night, all of a sudden, a vision was shown to Paul. A vision. The vision is this. A man in Macedonian cloth and Macedonian appearance. So he, Paul, recognized that, that Macedonian man. Okay? Macedonian man asking Paul to come to us and help us. That vision was given to Paul at night. So Paul was so much astonished by the fact that, you know, he ought to cross over the European territory. So upon the following morning, four gentlemen discussed what we should do. So they decided to obey what the Paul was given by the, the vision. So that vision we call Macedonian vision, which is a very historical uh, vision and also in terms of uh, mission field, we call it very historically very important, strategically very, very significant because that moment was the moment in which Europe receiving the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay? Otherwise, the message, without that vision, Paul and his teams should have gone to Asian part, okay, maybe crossing over uh, the Persian area and India and all the way to China and Korea. However, that was not the God's plan. God's plan was to carry the gospel of Jesus to the European territory first. Okay? That Macedonian vision became a turning point. Okay? Turning point. The second missionary journey was so important because of this event here, right here. Okay? Now, 
upon their decision, they took a sailboat from Troas, went to a small island. Okay, right here, I just wrote down small island right here. And from the island, they arrived in, they landed in a town called Neapolis, right here, Neapolis. Okay, from Neapolis, Holy Spirit guided them to Philippi, Philippi. This is Philippi. Okay. Right here, the Philippi. So the Philippi was the first major mission field in the province of Macedonia. Macedonia. Okay. Paul's the first mission field. And that we will study in the next lecture. Okay. Now here. I just wrote down all this, okay? Eight churches' names right here. And no more Asia ministries. They were forbidden by the Holy Spirit. No more preaching the word of God in Asia. Act 16, <clears throat> 6. Okay, I have given you all biblical references. Okay? Then decided to go to Mysia. Now you can see where Mysia is. And Bithynia, that was their, their plan. They decided to go to Mysia and Bithynia. Are you with me? Bithynia is the northern part of the province in Turkey. Okay? But the Holy Spirit stopped them to visit Bithynia. Where? Acts 16, verse 7 says so. Okay? So they passed the Messiah and arrived at Troas. Troas. Can you see the map? Acts 16, 7 says Troas. And at night in Troas, a vision appeared to Paul. And a Macedonian man asking Paul, come over to us, to Macedonia, and help us. Where is that? Acts 16, 9. This is a very important Bible verse right here. Acts 69. We call that Macedonian vision. Okay? This is a lecture 5. Isn't it interesting? But it gives you a good foundation uh, in understanding Paul's mission. Especially the second missionary journey. This second missionary journey became the foundational information uh, for third missionary journey and fourth missionary journey. Therefore, it is important. May God bless all of you and those who are watching out of this video. May God bless all of you. In Jesus' name, amen.